Hey everybody, it's the Mad Master here. I'm just doing a quick video. <laughs> My hair looks like shit, I know. Um, I had to do this video. I haven't taken a shower yet. Um, working on a lot of stuff in my new apartment. Um, the uh, I just uh, I've subscribed to this guy, Doctor Grande, and you probably know him on YouTube as this kind of a psychologist guy that does all these really kind of snarky, hilariously snarky, um, sarcastic analyses of all these people and events and things. He even did a Gigi Allen video, which was really awesome because. It means uh, he reads his own comments, which is amazing because a lot of people that have that kind of following wouldn't, won't even read suggestions or comments. I thought it was pretty amazing that he did that and several other things that he did in his, you know, on his channel. So I was like, and I, I hadn't seen it for a while. I haven't watched him for a while. And by the way, you know, I don't agree with everything he says or believes in and stuff. So just as a little uh, disclaimer there, but Dr. Mike apology video. So, or his analysis of it. I was like, I know it. I know what it has to do with. I know it's something. I was like, I mean, as bad as it sounds, like, I was actually excited. Like, oh, yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be about something related to the virus. I knew it was. So, I guess uh, it's Dr. Mike. He's a famous doctor on YouTube. You know, I prefer Z Dog myself because Z Dog's way more nuanced and intelligent, kind of not just this brain dead, like, stupid like thing i don't know not bashing dr mike but you know just it's just like watching z dog and people like that you know they're miles ahead of uh people like dr mike's analysis of stuff including the virus zubin demania you know you should check him out um so i guess he went on a trip to florida and went on a yacht with all these like scantily clad women and he had this picture taken like recently and then he had to apologize for it because he's not wearing a mask and he's hanging out with this big crowd of people that aren't wearing masks and all this stuff i'm like here we go again it's, it's like i mean i predicted that i don't know if i predicted in one of my videos that there's gonna be more hypocrites revealed every day about this whole thing but and then he's like uh i like i like dr grande's analysis of uh how, how uh, Dr. Mike apologized and said, oh, it's being used by conspiracy theorists. And then Dr. Grande was awesome. Like, he said some awesome stuff about that. I, I really recommend his video. I highly recommend his video about this. Um, so we here we have is another person that's pushing all this stuff. You know, I don't know what Dr. Mike's opinion is about lockdowns or masks. You know, I know what he thinks about masks. But lockdowns and all that stuff, I don't know. But here, here, this guy, you know, saying you should uh, socially distance and, uh, 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 you know, here's another guy saying all that stuff and not following his own ideas and guidelines. Now, he's not a public health professional, professional or a politician, so maybe you can forgive him a little bit more. But, you know, I don't know why cancel culture isn't going after these people more. You know, these people are, oh, my God. It was just like, I wasn't surprised. I mean, like I said, Dr. Mike apology video. Right away, like a lightning bolt in my head. I'm like, this has to do with the COVID hypocrisy. It has to. I, I said the word. Hopefully, you two won't, won't get, get on me for that. Um, let's see. Yeah, just looking through stuff. So, yeah, I knew it. I knew there would be some bullshit thing with him going to a party or hanging out with people under lockdown when he's not supposed to or not wear a mask, you know, all that stuff. I knew it. I knew it. I just knew it right away. I mean, so it's like, why would, first of all, the thing is, is like, Dr. Grande, I've watched for, how long have I watched him? For a year probably now? Watched various Dr. Grande videos. I like Dr. Grande. I don't like everything he says or everything he believes in or anything, but I was like, why would he talk about Dr. Mike? What happened? Um, doc, what, what the hell? Dr. Mike? It's like, yeah, that guy's okay. You know, he's kind of, you know, this preppy, good-looking doctor that does these videos and stuff, and people watch it, and, uh, you know. Like, apology for what? I'm like, well, what's going on right now? Oh, no, it just, it was right away. I'm just... I'm just flabbergasted. I was able to, I'm not trying to say like I have any psychic powers or some shit, but like the fact that I saw, all I saw was the thing, 
you know, because I've subscribed to Doc Grande. Analysis of Dr. Mike apology video. And I was like, yeah, it's about that. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my God, these people are so fucking brazenly hi hypocritical. What the hell? You know, it's like, I will admit, I don't socially distance from people. And I don't wear a mask with my friends. If I get the virus, I'm not a hypocrite at least, you know. I mean, oh, God, it just made me so mad. And I'm not going to go to a huge gathering of people, probably. just It's like usually three or four people, if, if that, if or if maybe a little bit more. But And I may have already had the virus, as we have already uh, talked about. So, And there is some immunity, according to some articles, by some doctors. It's over and over again. It's just like all over the place, right? So... You know, if you, uh, if you want to be, if you want people to follow what you say, well, I don't know if you follow a messy haired, uh, old Hesher who's doing this on his iPhone, but, <laughs> um, you, you gotta be consistent with what you're doing. And he was, you know, he I used to have, uh, I, I did watch doctor, a couple Dr. Mike videos over the months. It's like how to, how to exercise during lockdown, blah, 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 blah. Well, you know, you're in New York, which is all under a partial lockdown. Now, if you would have been in L.A., that would have been even better for the... I love how Dr. Grande said it, what he said at the end. It's like, it served its purpose as entertainment, the apology video. Like, his snarky... It was a snarky comment, but... I like Dr. Grande. So, um, that's... I guess that's what I have to say about that. And Dr. Mike, you're a douchebag. You should come out with a better apology than you did. Just, if... I mean... Yeah, people are going to come out and say, just like he said in the video, Dr. Grande was referencing this. Because Dr. Grande is fully on board with everything that's going on, pretty much. I mean, he's he believes all this stuff that's going on and stuff. I'm not, I'm not faulting him for that, necessarily. A lot of people can buy into everything that's going on. That's, that's perfectly fine. But when Dr. Grande is fucking, like, pointing out the hypocrisy, he's spot on. And... Dr. Mike, like, what, what was I saying? Okay, so Dr. Mike, I mean, Dr. Mike said, oh, the conspiracy theorists are just using this now, this this thing. And Dr. Grande is like, well, of course they are. Because if you're, if you're saying that all this shit is happening, and you're, you, you on some, you know, if you believe in all the stuff that's happening, if you believe there's this risky virus out there, blah, 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 blah right? And even, like, okay, so, then, okay, I'm sorry, I'm jumping back and forth, but, uh, if you believe in that, then you should uh, follow your own advice, you know? He's hanging out with all these people. And I know, you know, it's, last I looked was about two weeks ago. There were about 7,000 people under the age of 45 that have died from this. Probably mostly with pre-existing pre conditions or obese or whatever. But still, it's like, you're saying all this stuff on your channel, which which is, you know, it's... it's rubber stamp is that the term stamped you know it's rubber stamped by the cdc and all this stuff and say you know they don't there's no fact checking it's all like on there it's like oh he's he's following the cdc guidelines uh, uh, you know and he's saying all this stuff and it's like if you expect people to follow your own advice don't be a fucking hypocrite my god just come out and say you know like Newsom's apology and all these people trying to apologize for not socially distancing. What do they know that we don't know? That's the question. This this, this guy is part of the elite. He's on a, on a yacht and shit. I know Dr. Grande is not on that level yet as far as on YouTube. So I don't think he's been an Instagram influencer over the years. A lot of, actually, a lot of women find Dr. Dr. Grande kind of attractive, which he has a kind of a nerdy, unassuming kind of thing about him. And I kind of find that kind of really endearing that a lot of women find him attractive. I think that's awesome. Because um, this Dr. Mike guy is like the traditional looking, good looking guy. And then it was almost like kind of funny that it was Dr. Grande was doing this video. I don't think, I'm not saying it was jealousy, but it was just, it was hilarious. But if, if you're not, if you're not following your own guidelines on this thing, what do you know for one? You know, what do you know that we don't know? What what are you privy to or what do you have, you know, do you have a, va did you have a vaccine? You know, did all these elites have vaccines before? Or, you know, any, any conspiracy theorist can come up with fucking millions of conclusions from that. That's the problem with these people follow not following their guidelines. 
you know, oh, well, Dr. Mike went to this uh, uh, university and they had this program that Bill Gates funded and blah, 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 you know, Pfizer and oh, you know, he's tied with this person and this person. Everybody's interconnected, by the way. That's why that's the kind of shoots down all the conspiracy theories in a way, because everybody's interconnected in some way. But um, yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, and it's going to continue, unfortunately. You know, maybe I'll still do these videos. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to stop doing these videos. I'm not looking at the stats anymore, and I'm not going to, you know, worry about the stats as much. But I'm going to do, maybe I'll just continue to do these videos about these hypocrites, because there needs to be more out there about them. I mean, they're not following their own advice or own guidelines. I mean, people freaked out at Fauci not wearing a mask at a baseball game, but this is, like, far worse, because he was with two people. Um... This was like some yacht, like, bourgeois, you know, good-looking people, Instagram influencer-esque party. It was almost like that one, uh, the type of people that would go to that, uh, what was that, that, uh, that one festival, Fire, Fire Fest or whatever the hell it was called. It was the type of people that would go to that shit, you know, it's like, just totally, like, upper-crust uh, people. I mean, what do they know that we don't know? Are they just having these parties and these, these elites, you know, and doing all this stuff and they're telling us not to do, you know, I'm not going to do it until they do it. If they all go, okay, if they all quarantine themselves for six months in a jail, maybe it's sort of a, a low uh, minimum security jail where you're separated, you know, tens of thousands of feet and you have to be alone in your fucking room for six months, maybe that would be a good way to, to, uh, good way of retribution for them because they're they're not following their own fucking things and i know dr mike is not a politician so i'm not recommending that for him but man i hope i hope he's canceled people wanted people canceled ellen but ellen took you know to be to be fair ellen took a while because i remember because some of these more like establishment liberal kind of types where they're not edgy at all, like, in a certain way. I noticed that they're, like, like publicly they're not edgy at all. Like, if she was, like, a little more edgy, she probably would have been canceled earlier. You know, like, you know, with, like, with, uh, what's that? Uh, Louis C.K., you know, he was canceled pretty early on because he was already edgy. So you can, like, oh, my God, look at this little thing he said. Ah, you know, so you can already point to him being cancelable, but... Dr. Mike or Ellen, you know, might take a little while longer. But I hope I hope he gets fucking ratioed the fuck out of on t on Twitter, not Tinder. I keep see I'm on Tinder a lot, a lot lately, so not with a picture of me looking like this, by the way. But <laughs> I'm just catfishing a little bit, but um on there. But um so not really, but you know. Uh it's just it's just madness. So I, I might continue to do these videos of exposing these hypocrites because, um, it's a, it's just, it, it's a public service, you know, we gotta, we gotta stand up to this bullshit. My opinions about lockdowns or even masks aside, my, you know, mixed opinions about all that, my mixed opinions about the, the stats, the virus, all this stuff, either way, you've got to agree with me. We have to call hypocrites out because it is like, uh. Jim Baker coming out against uh, promiscuous sex and then, you know, getting busted with a prostitute or something like that, you know? It's on that level at this point. They're, these people are, some people are basically coronatarians. You know, I called my corona, my ex-roommate a coronatarian and I felt and another word, which I'm not going to mention. And I should, probably shouldn't have done that. It was pretty bad. But, um, you know... He's not perfect, and nobody's perfect, but, you know, when you're coming out and proclaiming the truth about the virus to people, and like, please don't do this, you're, and, I mean, to be fair, Dr. Mike is pretty amicable, he's not like, you're a grandma killer, you know, or anything like that, but if you're coming out and telling us this stuff, follow it yourself, so I'm not, I'm not going to follow it, I'll tell you what, if Gavin Newsom, this is the challenge, if Gavin Newsom decided He's going to be quarantined in a, in a room for uh, six weeks and have constant nonstop surveillance. Like on, it's like a YouTube stream. Like he has to be in this room, like this one room alone, just get meals, you know, well, it's called a jail. But, you know, if you, if you actually serve jail time 
for, for, for six weeks and then got a vaccine after that, I will, I, if that happens, I, if that happens to like three or four of these people, if they go to jail for this, then I will socially distance. Then I will stop seeing my friends till, you know, until whenever. So that's all I got to say. Peace out.